Through the astral planes, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this, and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Have you done this before, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was distracted. You're so cute when you drool! <sighs> We've talked about you watching me sleep. Guys? Is that... Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him, and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here. Reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. Maybe it's all the graves talking, but, um... There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can- uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> no. <Is> that? <laughs> we got a runner! After his spotlight! I don't know this part! Traps! <laughs> Something soft down there! <laughs> <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. After all, something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. Don't suppose you want to lend a hand? You 
fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. He said no. Yeah, I got that one. Thanks. This has got my name on it. You owe me one, Quill. What would I do without you, Rocket? Rocket! Fireworks! At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered. It's like it can't be killed. As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't. Look out! Um, how many times have I saved your butt now? I'm open to suggestions! It is a destined defeat! Is that supposed to mean something to us? Get back in there, guys! Guys, huddle up! What a blast! I haven't felt this excited since the Galactic War! You better watch her out there, Quill. She fought on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Can't wait to take him down! Let me in! Fortune favors failure! Is that supposed to mean something to us? You're giving in to your greenies' obsession! Only by letting go can you move on! Past time someone got stabbed! Take a while! Ready! At least he's slow! Can barely hit me! Don't get cocky! Remember what Mantis said! It is a destined defeat! Whose side are you on? Can't just keep this up, can he? Can we? Head on a swivel! <laughs> Rocket! New glove! Save your nice work for later, Quill. Wipe them out! Our favor is failure! Is that supposed to mean something to us? Okay, maybe this isn't as simple as I thought. Never is with him. Stop him short, Groot! It is a destined defeat. Is that supposed to mean something to us? Time for the big guns! I can't... Peter? Whoa! Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's why I couldn't see! Ugh. Hey, we ain't that. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. You're so keen to usurp your father, good one. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! 
forced to follow fools. Damn it! I can hear you. You play Paul on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left little one. Huh? You can see me? Your friend me. is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. Hey, how did you beat him? You forced me to follow this <laughs> fantasy of falsehood. Because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, Tamaria, it is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. The flock are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Mark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Got it! I'll deal with the death! You gotta keep those things off strong, boy! Get ready! Avoid the jumpy ones! I cannot breach the barrier while plagued by these pustules! Nash things keep pouring out of them nests! Blast them when you quill!
Fine, all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. We have merely moved deeper within its domain. Speaking of which... Is that... Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. Do not know what you ask. Damn it! Here we go again. All right, seek and destroy, just like last time. Make haste. The mob moves to snap shut. I cannot contain it. I knew you had my back! Alright, seek and destroy, just like last time. Make haste! The mom means to snap shut. I cannot contain it. Fuck it! Do your thing! Blood 
Endless entropy. Cease this charade! This is not good. Clark in nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping! All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally. But we're not gonna give up. Just point us in the right direction. There, look. I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camarion. My innocent little Camarion. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. And it ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with... the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. 
and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black dwarf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence. Drifting in darkness. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose. Until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? 
I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. I mean, we could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Her echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, as I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one. Find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downers, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... Oh, What's Flark. going? Oh, Flark. They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. 
Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my sword? <laughs> All right. Let the waves of calm wash over me. Oh, Gamora! Since when do you meditate? I don't, but desperate times and all. Stuff's been a lot lately. I get it. Hala, help me do I get it. Uh, so, how do you use this, then? In, in case, you know, Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. You also need a comfortable place to sit, where you can be relaxed but alert, and focus on your breathing. Then you practice. A lot. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Pama that I realized how... limited his version of meditation really was. How did you end up living with the priests of Pama? They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing. Mantis introduced me to them last year when I needed to heal. They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Helped? How? I guess you could say I was broken. Thanos, the war, working as an assassin, they take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean, I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth. I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't. Die. No. There was this boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> At first, not really. He was a pain in the butt. But over time, we came to rely on each other. Thanos had taught me how to meditate in the functional sense, but not in the spiritual sense. Like, how to work through my trauma. Caring for a con. It, he forced me to reflect and process. And together, through mutual support, a con and I were able to overcome our demons. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. Like focus? Focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was... We didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us. Turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here, I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. 
But it was the only way to survive. And it was something we did together, a new kind of competition, just between me and Nebula, to see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up, and yet oddly endearing. Yeah, well, even bad puns can only get you so far before your conscience catches up with you. Wow. I had no idea meditation could be so... intense. Or beneficial? Well, yeah, that too. I guess I should give it a go sometime. Although I'm kind of scared of what I'll find. Who knows? You might surprise yourself. I know I did. Yeah, maybe. No wonder Gamora's so patient with us. So, Warlock, he's something. Eh, not sure we can trust the guy who looked at the Grand Unicorn himself and thought, the lad looks like a reliable rascal. He simply knows that the true evil is Magus. Raker is but an impressionable fanatic. A fanatic with a lot of firepower. Wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber. He's asking for room service now. Come get your own. We've got a full fridge. Well, not exactly. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures. As is its scribe. Okay. What's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? No! No? I don't know what you want from me, man, but I'm not about to bend over because you threw up the entire extended thesaurus. I see. And... Antagonistic, but appreciable argument. Seems you possess a spine after all. Your will may make up for your infantile frame of thought. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't- No. It cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? 
She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. I am good. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. I hope Peter Quill has convinced our guest to fight alongside us. Judging from the tone of voice, he was more annoyed than convinced. Which one? Quill or Golden Boy? They both sounded annoyed. Annoyed or not, we have to work with him. We need someone strong enough to keep Raker in check if we want any chance to get to Mickey. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Oh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Give me a tick. I'll be right there. There you go. It's all yours. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. I should probably learn a second language at some point. Like French. Hey, that one's from Lamentis. Does that mean it's a sacred plant? Groot, did you steal a sacred plant from Lamentis? <sighs> we'll have to patch that tunnel.
Right. Did you reach Cop? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Bad as it looks, a 
soon it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great! The cone boy thinks he's a butterfly now! He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. So, what happens if we find Goldie, but he's all beat up? Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Is that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the Church must be stopped. If we are to risk our lives on this mission, we should commune together and intone a Katathian battle hymn together. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. You're actually gonna miss Choga Dogs? I'm gonna miss Mantlos. And that place with the dancers. And Alice Bar? Remember that time we caught a liquor thief under their sling boot table? I remember how crap that liquor tasted. Who pays that much for rust juice? What I remember most about this station is our time together. Yeah, that's uh, real sentimental of you, muscles. Remember that time we got a contract? Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack!
turn this around, Peter. Fast! Yeah? How are we gonna do that? Dast and Scutplug's got complete control of the battlefield. Just look at him out there. You know what I see when I look at that battlefield? I see all of you. And I am mesmerized. Seriously. You make me want to fight 24 hours a day. Who's with me? Die! See! Bring it on! Great! Not going into the light this time, little buddy! Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill him for flarking up this spaceport. We have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Where is your good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. If Cosmo's on their side, getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess with the story. of the known universe, but don't see how it figures into anything. Anybody see any this way to the fulfillment signs? No. I will inform you if I observe any. Um, thanks. Some uh, preparation work, I guess. Well, we should prepare faster. 
what we're gonna see in the marketplace. Same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere oh, really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. <laughs> to siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the Cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Eh, wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. The church's forces increased by the tip. The superior numbers could have easily the defenses. Well, we got just the five of us. Filling us all with confidence there, big guy. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodist about these adventures. A what? They are the keepers of Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. Contact here rotations ago. You did? Was it Blurf? No, no, no. Should up on hooks, maybe? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cat free. He always gave Groot the creep. My Groot. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Lousy fun flarkers! Get ready to die! We do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt him first. You owe me one, Quill! Oh, thanks, buddy! Get the word is out about us! We have Everyone to quiet. Attention we got company. Keep wandering into combat! Just always be ready to attack! Don't think your boss is gonna be too happy with you! Deadliest woman in the galaxy! Can't tell if they feel pain! More batteries the deeper we go. 100 units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know.
Uh, don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good. Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there... This looks strong enough to anchor to. Yep, name the spot. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Huh. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. <sighs> Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Don't leave me hanging. sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. He did not align himself with the gravity to fire. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls, and the security raids, and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Golden Boy for anyways. We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus's space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Yeah, and I'm not so sure anymore, not after Lamentis. None of this makes any sense, but Mantis gave us somebody who can fight it. Somebody who also makes no sense. Exactly! I think. He can deal with his evil twin. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work.
I've seen nowhere this desolate what? before. No way. When? If you wander about early enough in the morning. More turkeys dropping in. Dropping like flies soon enough. like a dead end for some more than others why do you cry rodent I'm not crying I'm just remembering all the jobs I did here looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there that's not gonna work whoa the Emporium used to be right here Did the church destroy it Doubt it. Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign, Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust screwed out of there. <laughs> Hero? <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me. What do you think they did with all the nobodies? They were either below us, awaiting the fulfillment, or they have been transported to Sacrosite. To join the other millions. Chanting in that massive cylinder. Eh, still not as scary as Drax's Katathian war songs when he's taking a shower. Oh, man, Rocket's talked about these. He's gonna love this. Do you hear something? Like chanting. No. I could have swore. <clears throat> Wonder if Cosmo's gonna keep control of the station once this mess is sorted. You fear he will lose his command. He wouldn't have many defenses left to push back a second invasion. I ain't never been on the dog's good side, but the thought of new management? Eh, don't sit right. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Riker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they're doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy flark and family? She's not garbage. Behold 
end! The power of the light! Via Magnati! Good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church. No, of course not. Just Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his redacted hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of 
course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change enough. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. But say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way.
prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Why do they keep blocking everything off? Because now they expect us. We need to find another way to the bridge. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. So, Gamora... <laughs> How am I supposed to drop? Gap's too big to jump. You know... I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. You need to find a way to get us across. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. Really? A faith force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. Get ahead! Let's book it! Now is not the time for- <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start! She is the light. And I... Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise, but you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Due to a perilous precipice, old friend. How? Oh. It can't be. I saw you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness, before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops.
rocket! Blast them! Stay away from the edges! I'll lay down some cover fire to get you across! Well, I guess Goldie survived that triple war! We can leapfrog our way back onto the bridge! Leapfrog? It's a... Just follow my lead! Novacore dude was bonkers! My great strength goes underutilized! Past time someone got stabbed! Been too long since I blew something up! Collapse this new telltale of all the battles here! Oh man! Thank God, Ernie! There was this great song! Sick of tracks! Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump! Did you see Ranker's face when he showed up? Of course it was easier to get to before! Look! Golden Boy and Uni Parker are still at it! Oh, 
market! Slice and dice! Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump! Did you see Raker's face when he showed up? great right in the butt did you see the look on his face it was all like oh my gilded glutes regal rear his perfect posterior his champion cheeks i am groot uh, groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it Assuming they don't blame us for the Grand Unicorn, and the brainwashing cult, and the Magus World Destroyer thing. You know what? Maybe we should avoid nowhere for a while. Listen, this isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play it cocky, one little mistake is gonna bring us down. So let's get back out there, give this fight complete dedication, and make them scream. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quill! You said. So now you're finally happy?
Well, I guess Goldie survived that jump. I swear, if Warlock kills Ranger before I get a chance... Running and gunning on rooftops. This is kind of fun. If there weren't so many of them, I'd agree with you. will provide some cover! Running and gunning on rooftops! This is kind of fun! So now you're finally happy? Make sure you don't fall off! I got jet boots, remember? These soldiers are deadlier than the local security! Well, you're a big target! That's right! Do we approach the dog's tower? Then we're almost halfway there! Okay! We gotta get to that elevator! Gonna have to use the rooftops! Running and gunning on rooftops! This is kind of fun! We will need tattoos to commemorate this moment!
obliterate this moment! Of course it was easier to get to before! Finally! I think they're giving up! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. suck to be a celestial head just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet. We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. I always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Thought it would be the world mine cracking down on them. They do have Nova Corps converts in their forces. You're We're completely wrong. Cosmo, he must have bribed so many people to keep this place fun. Look! They're still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. ba ba, -ba boom baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. That must be tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep, that's part of nowhere's charm. Oh, well, you gotta be farking kidding me. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route? If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't wrong. You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. You will regret it. <laughs> 